by a quick show of hands, how many of you have ever watched a princess movie before? Pretty much everybody, right? In case you don't know me, my name is Hannah, and tonight I want to tell you about something called the princess effect. If you raised your hand, you've participated in this effect, and even if you didn't, the results of this effect are abundant in society today. I've done my best to deeply familiarize myself with this topic in order to provide you with the best material possible. So let's discuss this princess effect and its many societal manifestations. To give you a quick scope of this issue, Forbes writer Marilyn Yu in Has the Disney Princess Marketing Machine Frozen or Girls' Imaginations reports on this growing industry. While she speaks in length about Disney's effects on the daughters of today, the financial aspect truly encapsulates how huge this industry has become. As you can see, the Disney Consumer Products Division's profits have exploded over the past few years. This issue is far from declining. So what exactly is the princess effect? It's best to explain through a research study. Sarah Coyne, a researcher and professor at BYU, released a 2016 study titled Pretty as a Princess. The study involved 198 preschool and kindergarten aged boys and girls and found several things. For girls, the more they engaged with the princess culture, the more likely they were to behave in stereotypically feminine ways. The lower their body image at the start of the study, the more interested they were in the princesses over time. And there is no evidence to suggest that girls' interaction with the princesses influenced them for the better. As for boys, their engagement actually showed a positive effect, serving as somewhat of a counterbalance to traditionally aggressive media. Also, boys showed early preference for thin-waisted princesses, a trend that will amplify for the rest of their lives. Body esteem is actually one of the main things that prompted people to look into what we now know as the princess effect in the first place. <coughs> Princesses are girls' first real interaction with the, quote, thin ideal media we now see everywhere. And this is critical. Coyne found that body awareness and esteem issues trace back as early as preschool. Additionally, girls as young as five express fears of getting fat or possess other body esteem issues. Here you can see the humanly impossible body ratio set forth by Disney. The yellow line is the width of the eyes on the face, and the red line is the width of the stomach. Researcher Stephanie Haynes' 2011 journal article titled Little Girls or Little Women brings to light concerns surrounding the subliminal messages and subconscious ideas found in princess films. While this is discussed in many studies, boiled down, as this picture shows, some of the stories are a little twisted. Like Ariel's, it's okay to abandon your family, drastically change your body, and give up your greatest talent to get your man. And this is serious stuff. It's easy to write off subliminal messages at our age since we're so far removed from their original impact, but they're still very real. This is a quote from Hayne on why she felt inspired to dig into the princess effect upon observing her daughter. She sat on the front step quietly, waiting, she said, for her prince. She seemed less imaginative, less spunky, less interested in the world. And some take the subliminal messages theory a bit further. In a 2012 journal entry titled Women's Early Relational Experiences That Lead to Domestic Violence, researchers June Keeling and Colleen Fisher cite the prince-princess dynamic as a potential source of modern domestic violence. Now, of course, there is a lot more nuance to it than that, but the general idea is that little girls see themselves as a kind and catering partner, and little boys see both the take charge attitudes of the princes and the compliant attitudes of the princesses and expect that this is the dynamic they will one day have. The hang up, they theorize, comes when this model inevitably breaks down. And the artist Saint Hoax did a domestic violence awareness campaign centered around the princesses, since their lives are so widely viewed as being the epitome of perfection. So, in conclusion, am I saying that we should cancel all princess movies forever? Absolutely not. In many ways, princess movies are amazing. But while Disney is trying to innovate new storylines that focus less on the one true love aspect of a princess, the princess effect is still very much alive and well in the minds of children today. Regardless, hopefully now you are equipped with knowledge on how to better evaluate princess media, just as we ought to evaluate all media with a bit more of a critical eye.